All right, um, guys, this is a trade right now. It's uh, one of the other trades I'd like to take. And again, it's uh, color band shade and uh, big figure, 50. Uh, the only problem I've got, and again, I'm not going to take this trade. We're going to use this as just a uh, educational uh, tool because what's happening is, look look at this. Look at this wild uh, swings here. And the reason this is happening is because Trichet is speaking. I don't like to take trades when Trichet speaks or Bernanke or Paulson. Some of these guys, again, you never know how the market's going to interpret something. And something like this where it's so solid. Look at this four-column roadblock, color band change, changes. Look at this. Our one minute is at 20. So a jump up here is going to give us a 30-point gap. This, under any other condition, without these guys speaking or some major news event coming out, I would just be licking my chops to uh you know reverse uh, take a reversal up here uh the only issue is that you know i mean you would say well why didn't you buy it well the reason i didn't buy it is because we were looking at this and this thing is just so scattered and look look what it did i mean look where this thing came down to and the reason um if you'd have seen this grid set up a little while ago we didn't have enough support it was just you know red rose to the uh, down we only had a one uh two one minute boxes that was it we didn't have a five minute box so you know now this is developed because um, it made this push down it made this uh attempt to get back up again and it's going to retest this area so again we're going to test the high okay using a five minute chart okay we're going to test these areas up here again for one more time um, and you're going to see that again this trade right here if it gets here and we do sell it again I'm not going to do this I'm just going to do this as an example because again uh, Trisha is speaking so I'm not going to do anything sometimes when these guys speak you know these things just get blown they don't get respected uh, but if it wasn't because of that I would go ahead and again color band shades big figure pulled away from my one minute I've got enough room from my one minute to this level with a four column roadblock okay here we go I mean th this would be I, I right now I, I I would I wouldn't have a problem pulling the trigger I know we got massive clear roads so I do have to keep immediately by the way as soon as I would get in here okay let's say I would sell it right now at 58 I'm gonna put my stop loss at 71 I ain't gonna give this thing a chance because it's got massive clear roads um, and uh, that's extremely dangerous. You got to. You hear uh, Andy say, uh, and, and uh, a lot of guys in the room talk about. You know, you got to be scared of those. Ga you know, those uh, those gaps, as they call it, clear roads. Um, so you know, it's it's a really advanced trade. Um, the idea was to buy it down here and go up, but again, I just did not have the kind of support I want. Uh, I would use this as an area of. You know, again, it it, it, it the market will probably uh, stick around here. And so if I can't get quick movement here, uh, look at your one minute. It's, it's calculating really fast, 26, 28. So if I can't get quick movement down uh, and I hover in this area here, then I would just kill the trade, uh, take what I can get, and uh, call it a day. You know, take a few points loss or, or a few points gain. But again, I'm just trying to steal points from the market really fast. And, uh, and this is what I have found when you learn these little things uh, and you have a keen eye for it. Um, they work really well. The only other, oh, the other thing I'm not thrilled about this trade too is I'm selling dollars, okay? And um, although the, the overall market right now, it's kind of, uh, I mean, the overall trend has been, you know, dollar strength. So, I mean, I don't want to hold specially a position that I'm, I'm going to be taking a counter trade against the overall uh, trend in, in market sentiment. So, I mean, this is one of those trades I'm just trying to steal fast points. Again, I, let's say, all right, I took, because I was talking and, you know, just jumped, you know, over 50. I got lucky, got a 58 trade, a 58 fill. I mean, if I can get 10, 12 points out of this, which I'm very close to that, I'm closing it. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to, you know, seeing this thing recalculate so quickly, this one minute box, um, you know, I'm not going to get greedy here. I'm going to get what I can get. Here, okay, here we go. I would be closing this right now at 46. I'm done. I'm taking 12 points from this trade. Um, you know, again, not looking to get rich off of this. I'm just looking to steal some points uh, because let's say initially I missed the up move and uh, and I found a good area where the market would uh, need to take a breather. And now it may just hover in this area waiting for the one minute to work its way up there before it you know keeps driving through and possibly getting up to higher levels. Uh, but I've already come out of it with, you know, 12 points in my pocket. And uh, that's how I, I do that trade. Again, smaller positions also. That's another thing. Always remember, I take smaller positions. I don't take full positions on this kind of stuff, this kind of trade. Um, and, uh, and, and again, just reiterating, I didn't. I, the other thing is I didn't trade it if, because 
you know, uh, Trishay was uh, also speaking. So those are two things that, you know, got to keep in mind. All right. But uh, any other condition, you see this kind of stuff uh, outside of Trishay, uh, you know, Paulson, uh, you know, one of these Fed, Fed chairman guys speaking or, you know, even president, one of the presidents, uh, in this case, uh, I was going to say Bush, but our new president elected uh, Obama. Congratulations! Uh, but you know, any any of that, I I would I just I wouldn't take the trade. I would just sit in the sidelines and wait, um, uh, or a major news event. Okay, some kind of major news event that comes out, and you know, th this thing can just get blown right by it. But um, again, one of my other favorite trades that occasionally I get a chance to uh, to take and uh, steal from the market really quickly, in and out. Hope you enjoy it.